If you're thinking about becoming a freelance chef or just interested in what we do, well, I've been a freelance chef for the past five years. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on my last mission and show you some of the places I've been, some of the things I've done, some of the people I've met, and basically what this job is all about. Welcome to my world. Like any massive town or city, London has its fair share of bars, clubs, restaurants, hotels, uh, you name it. These places, they are crying out for chefs and catering staff all year round. But I personally love to head towards the countryside in the summertime because that's where it's really happening. You've got your massive festivals starting up, your big horse racing events, all your theme parks and holiday parks are all opening up and everyone's heading down towards the coast. And not only is it great fun, unlike your smaller bars and restaurants, these massive venues are catering for large amounts of people. And so of course they can afford to pay much better wages. I'm grabbing a train out of London because last night a job came up on the agency app, free accommodation, good hourly rate, just down my street. And I thought, you know what, click yes. And that's it, here I am, train station, heading to Somerset, apparently a little Town, a little coastal town called Green, just down from Western Supermere. It's a massive holiday park with a theme park, and never been there before, never seen it, never worked there before, never met anyone from there. In fact, never even heard of it. But hey ho, there you go. That's what makes this job so exciting. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. After about a four hour journey, finally I've arrived at my destination, Green Theme and Leisure Park. Now, this is a massive leisure park. It's also a holiday camp and uh, loads of caravans, all that kind of thing all around. Typical summer destination for lots of families and people with kids, etc., etc. So bags down, I've got a little bit of time on my hands. I'm gonna have a little wander around and uh, see what I've let myself in for for the next couple of months. Here I am on Breen Beach, lovely summer's day. And yeah, look at this, all sandy, nice and sandy, nice sandy beach, none of your pebbles. Hard to believe you're in England really, isn't it? All the holiday makers down, parked up on the beach, look. So yeah, this is Breen, fantastic. I'm gonna walk along the beach into Breen town. That's it, all settled in. Time to make my way to the kitchen and get stuck in. Now, for those of you who have worked in the kitchen, you will know that this is a high pressure job, a lot of work. Um, unless you're working with a good team behind you, you've got to be organized. Yeah, a lot of stress as well. Anyone who thinks they're coming down and gonna walk in the kitchen and have an easy ride, you might as well just pick your things up, turn around and go straight back out the door you just came in. That having been said, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, I love it. I thrive under pressure and this is my world. I wouldn't be anywhere else. And do you know what? At the end of a hard, busy shift, that pint in the local bar just tastes so good. 
As long as you're organised, keep your nose clean, don't try and burn the candle at both ends every night, and uh, generally have a nice persona about yourself, get on with everyone, don't fall out with people. Um, yeah, and have a good team and organise everything. It's not everyone's cup of tea, I get that. And to be 100% honest with you, I can handle it for about three or four months. But after that, I really got to jet off to some paradise beach, sit underneath a coconut palm and just chill out for at least a couple of months. It's the end of September and the season is slowly coming to an end in Breen. The kids going back to school, mums and dads going back to their nine to fives, the theme parks closing down and the beaches returning to their desolate shores of emptiness. And then all of a sudden, at the blink of an eye, just when you thought it was all over, Breen comes back to life again with its country and western music festival. If you closed your eyes for 10 minutes and opened them up again, you'd seriously think you'd walked onto the film set with a scene from an old western movie. Everyone dresses up in true cowboy style and this place comes alive with the sound of live music, tribute bands, all playing country and western hits from the early 50s and 60s. It truly is a sight to see. So there you have it. You want a bit of slap my thigh line dancing, or you want to be the fastest gunslinger in town and show them how fast you can draw, or if you just fancy listen to a bit of uh, tribute band music from the likes of John Denver. Patsy Klein. Willie Nelson. And of course, Dolly This is Hart. actually my 20th year performing down here at Breen on Country Weekend. And I am so privileged to be able to see that. I started down here 20 years ago as Dolly Parton. And here we are today with the country superstars. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I just got to tell you, this is my husband. We are husband and wife. Look out for us on the road in a theater near you. And until next time, are you ready one more time? Then definitely head down towards Breen for their uh, country music festival. Uh, there is more information down below this video, um, more information on the Breen Country and Western Festival 2023. Also information about if you wanna become a um, freelance chef and loads of other stuff as well. 
So yeah, apart from that, thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.